Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone around the world. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video featuring your girl Spirit. Coming at you with a very, very spicy build today in the form of Unnerving, Merciless Storm, Tinkerer, and Dead Man Switch. Before we dive into the game here, I'm gonna go ahead and let everybody know thank you very much. We finally made it to 1,000 subs. I'm very, very excited to be here. Don't worry, we're not slowing down. We're here to go further and beyond. Hold on one second. Moving away. We're gonna go further and beyond here on the channel when it comes to Dead by Daylight, let alone have a lot of things planned. We have sub goals coming up here, doing giveaways and all that sort of thing. We will be doing Discord. Discord is coming up this month. I did drop a note down there on YouTube not too long ago talking about Discord and everything else. Hold up. Nice. Oh, there's two survivors here. Cool, we'll take it. So that should be here relatively soon before the end of this month. You, you guys will have a Discord community to hop into when it comes to my content, all that sort of thing. Be notified. Look for groups, all that stuff. But overall, let's dive into this game. We'll talk about it. I'll break it down. Wait, where are we going? And we'll see how it works out. We should be able to lock down that gen in a second once we hook this man. It sounds like it's about to pop. So Merciless Storm should trigger it and or dead man's here. Lovely, let's go. Unfortunately, she has a really, really good loop over here. I don't know if we're able to get the M1. We're gonna have to go back. Where is Steve? Oh, cool, nice. She's on the gen in front of me. We locked that one down too with dead man's. Love to see it. Unfortunately, one of these two survivors here are going to get this unhook. I think we'll go for the chick that has the map right now. I think that's Meg. We can find her. Not sure which way she went. I think I missed her. I did. All right, whatever, man. Meg, can you be our friend today, please? You guys know how I feel about maps. I don't know if I'm gonna do Meg that dirty, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Let me get the M1. Thank you. Off to the claw machine we go. Got one shot, Meg. Never mind. Apparently, uh, Meg didn't understand that there was a pallet here. Wow, what a good guy. You healed up. Well played. Oh, never mind. Bit, what are we doing here? You go dead hard to me or something? No? Okay. Meg does not have enough wiggle progress for that, bud. Sorry. Lock that one down again. Not this time. Hola, Chiquita. Sure, I'll give you some chase. Why not? I have to hurry up. I did see, uh, what's his name? Steve? By the pallet as we were coming by here. Thank you. I think he'll get the unhook before I get back over there. Yeah, you got it. That's unfortunate. Well played, Steve. But that's okay, though. Because Meg still has a map. And she's getting pretty far, but... We should be able to down her on the other side of the window, if I guess. Yeah. You gotta start running into me. And they should make it to the other side. Yep. Cool. One of you guys are gonna go down here. I'm not certain why Steve did not drop. I don't think that was a dead heart animation. Maybe it was a syringe. I don't know. I didn't see a med kit. I'm not sure why he's still up, but looks like we wasted a little bit of time. At least we'll get one hook here. Let's get back onto the other side of the map by the house here. Because that's where she was working on that gen. It was almost completed. Oh, cool. I hate this house. It's absolutely terrible. Hold on. Oh, nice. Bit, did you set up a boon totem? Was that you? A little circle of healing. A little too sneaky for me. See if we can shut it down real quick. She's still healing herself. Darn. I was close. So Meg's down. He's on stage two. And she touched the gen. What a good girl you are. Steve completed that one. I did not get Tinkerer off that one, unfortunately. I just noticed that was her first gen that actually completed. That's crazy. We're doing good, boys. Let's break this door. I don't want to entertain this chase too much. I do know that he will die on hook here. I would think. 
Because if she doesn't get him off the hook, I'm guessing Steve will. We're going to have to break the chase off and back over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, you got there quick. All right. Fair enough. Hola, chiquita. Nice death heart. Cute. We should be able to get this in time. Relatively close. I didn't even know she was over here. I thought it was just the other dude. That's my bad. Buddy, what are you doing? I'll take those all day. Now what do you do? Play the ring around the car game, I guess. Alright, okay. Alright. No, no, no. You, you sit there. Just wait. Just wait. Just chill. Just relax. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you. Let's wait for you to mess up. It's fine. Now what do you do? We're just gonna zoom at her here. We're just gonna go. Got him. Big oofs. Camping pallets is bad for your health. What did you learn today? Unfortunately, Steve does have wiggle progress. So no no matter which way I slice it, he will he will be able to get off one of the spires from the hook here. Which sucks, but that's okay, because we can down Steve immediately. And then she should not have time to pick up the other one before we down her. Right? She's she's one hit, so. Yeah, we're good. Round two. Alright. We're gonna chill here, actually. Let her come to us. What did you learn today? Definition of insanity, apparently. Ooh, that's unfortunate. We're gonna kill your friend right in front of you. That sucks. But overall, this has been spirit, this has been possible. Of course, we're gonna dive into game number two, but that's what we do here on this channel. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. And we'll talk about some upcoming changes to the channel and all that sort of thing. But, let's get these guys hooked up. See you guys in a split second. Unfortunately, it looks like we're playing on the game. Like, out of all the maps we get here, we get to come back to this place. To be fair, we, earlier already, we played with the new killer. Right? Hold on. We got the crow map back to back, like just back to back to back. Three times in a row. I don't know how it's possible, but it happens. Hold on, hold on, chillin'. Flashlighting already, for some reason. Run away for her. Got him. Man, that was quick. First hook already, under 30 seconds. We'll take those. Anyhow, I'm having a lot of fun with builds like this though, especially with Merciless Storm. I'm actually picking up Tinkerer a lot more for some reason. I think it's the fact that, not just on Spirit, just on Killers in general. I think it's the fact that um, when it comes to Spirit, undetectable status with Tinkerer doesn't really do all too well. Especially because of the noise that we make when we're swooshing, right? So it's very difficult to get a survivor, like pick them off the gen. But if you want to walk towards that gen, they don't know you're there. As long as you ain't uh, phasing, they don't hear you, right? To be fair. And that's one of the good things about Tinkerer here when it comes to Spirit, because you can actually get a really, really good distance up on a survivor before you start phasing, if you need to. Can we shut this one down too? Thank you. Deadman's just so good at this game. You got it. Well played. Let's go ahead and break this one real quick and get back over there, because she will get the unhook here. As long as they don't heal up, I don't really care too much. But it's the fact that you can run with Unnerving and Merciless Storm and Dead Man. So you have an opportunity of locking down a gen every time you hook a survivor or every time you creep up on a survivor with Tinkerer. It's just really, really solid. So that gen's pushing 90% progress with Tinkerer, right? But, uh, Merciless Storm will shut it down as soon as they know that you're coming, which is really cool. So that gives you an opportunity of downing that survivor there, slugging them, hooking them, what have you. Is the information that uh, the perk allows you to have is pretty nuts sometimes. By the way, that was three pallets, in case you guys didn't know. Right? The one she threw on me. Um, The one she ran past, and then that one there. So that's three pallets already that we've seen in just one chase. And this is why I think this is a very, very heavy survivor base. Nice job. Survivor base map, which I think everyone would agree to, but goodness gracious. The amount of pallets that you can actually have here can be ridiculous. There's another one. 
Nice boon totem. Go ahead and break it real fast. We got two hooks before they got their first gen, so I'll take that. We should be able to get her here. Thankfully for Tinkerer, she didn't know we were around the corner there. Undetectable, so that was pretty solid. We gotta get over here and stop this gen. Ooh, well played, Kate. Well played. Bro, she was already gone. That was really solid. Instead of sitting on the gen to lock it down, she did well. But where do you go, though? Sorry, girly. We're gonna get her hooked up here, and then we do gotta kick this gen, though, as well. Because this gen is about 90% progress, considering Tinkerer told us so, so. She's behind the stairs, I think? I thought I saw the med kit. Maybe not. I don't want to spend too much time. Oh, there she is. Chill. Hola, chiquita. Another sword to my right there. This must be like your pastime or something. She's getting pretty good at that. Now, part of me sh is thinking I should have probably broken that door. But then they would have definitely knew I was coming this way. You do get the free M1, so I can't really be mad too much. We're gonna go back upstairs here. Never mind. Or where are you going? Hello? Alright, there you go. We're gonna hook her upstairs, considering that's where that gin locked up at. Nice. And that's the survivor that's on stage two, so we should be able to kill her relatively soon. Hello? Now where do you go? We're gonna force her to go down to the bathroom here. Or give me the, never mind. She didn't give me the pallet either. We're chilling for a second, hold on. We're gonna listen to see if she jumps. No, okay. Too late. You had an opportunity. Thanks for playing though, appreciate you. We'll see you next time. They should be able to heal up Ada, at least. Before I get back down to him. Probably key, if I had to guess. We're gonna go spook them off this gen, at least lock it up. As long as I don't phase, they don't know I'm coming to him. Nice. I'm guessing she had her camera turned. It's the only reason why I think she might have seen me there. Ready? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Bro, didn't you learn from the first time? You can't just keep running around boxes. It didn't work out. Insanity, I swear. Guess we'll give her some chase here as well. She does have the pallet in the back room. Oh. Can't tell if she dead hearted or I just completely missed that. That sucks. We're about to get her down again here. Not like this. Oh. I either pick her up, get a pallet thrown on my face, or lose a gen. Or Kate goes to pick up the other one. Or heal up the other one and complete a gen. Let's risk it. Oh, she's right behind me. Nice. Ada's healed up as well. Kate, I see you. What are you doing? Why are you here? You can't work on the gen anyway. <laughs> These survivors, man, in a nutshell. Hola, Chiquita. We're gonna go back downstairs here. Now, speaking of which, while I have a little bit of fun here, we'll also talk about what we're gonna do for the upcoming channel here when it comes to content. I do look forward to getting sub goals here. The Discord is gonna be up, right, this month. I did drop a note down there on the YouTube talking about it. We're ironing out some little bugs here. I am my own moderator on the Discord, so I don't really, uh... I really, I kind of do a lot, I guess as you say. So, I moderate my own Discord and all that sort of thing. I do my own uploads, edits, all that stuff. So, I don't have any mods on my Discord. I don't know if I'm going to be giving those out or do anything of that nature. But right now, you know, please, please, just keep it, you know, respectful. That's all I ask, man. All right, no toxic communities over here. But other than that, we will be dropping a master, not master's guide, a red rank spirit guide, you know, 
on this channel. It's going to take a lot of work. I'm looking forward to it. That should be dropping before the end of the month as well. Because I have a lot of content to get through and a lot of builds to get through when it comes to Spirit. But I do want to give you guys something relatively pretty good. Because I did sit down and do a podcast and I gave you guys, you know, audio voice, audio feedback and all that sort of thing on, on Spirit and all that stuff. I give you guys the best gameplays when it comes to Spirit here on my channel as well. And I try to give you guys as much tips and tricks and, and all that sort of ins and outs when it comes to Spirit. So we're going to try to tie up as much as I can into one video. So I don't know how long it's going to be, unfortunately, but you know, it's fine. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get that done. And then we'll also be doing giveaways on the channel as well as some once we reach some certain sub goals and stuff too. But other than that, we will be climbing as much as I possibly can when it comes to this YouTube alg algorithm. So hopefully you guys are going to be here for the ride. That's right, you can lay down. Because it's going to be a journey. And I don't plan on stopping uploading content for a very, very long time. As long as Dead by Daylight is here and or Spirit is still in this game, we'll have a good time. But there is a new killer in Dead by Daylight, so I will be diving, diving into her as well. So the way I do things around here generally, I like to do 10 videos at, at a time. So in other words, I sit down, I'll brainstorm about 10 different builds, right? Where is she going? I'll brainstorm 10 or different video, 10 different builds, and then I'll get them all done. And I'll have them loaded in the chamber to, per se, upload, right? Well, we're going to be doing eight spirits this week. And we'll be doing uh, two skull merchants. Well, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to play it. I'm excited to get some of these spirit builds out of the way. Because I do have a lot of interesting ones that I thought about, you know, might do, might do pretty well. Where are we going here? Nope. But overall... This has been Paul's Place. Remember to smash that like button. Make sure you stay subscribed for future content. All things Spirit and Dead by Daylight. Hop in the Discord. I'll see you guys, or maybe the first person there, relatively soon. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys later.